Hello again, everyone. Welcome to the second video of my wedding series. I'm going to show you how I've organized my wedding planning binder and just kind of what I've been using to help me plan. Um, I just got engaged last week on Valentine's Day, so I really don't have a whole lot to show you, but I'm going to show you kind of how I'm starting to put my binder together as I'm going through this process. I'll kind of take you along and show you what I'm putting in the binder and how if I need to reorganize and how everything is going I guess so first I have this binder I actually started out with a notebook just like this a little Kate Spade notebook and I'll show you this first it's just a cute little little notebook nothing fancy um, I started writing I started going through all the locations. I'm not sure if you can see that, but I was going through all the locations that I was looking at for venues. Um, so every page I kind of had some information about each place. And actually the one I have like the least information about is the one I ended up choosing. But so I went through everything and I wanted to see, you know, what, where can I have this wedding? Because we wanted it to be somewhere close to us and close to both of our families, except for the people that are coming from out of town, we need to close to a hotel. Um, and we wanted the ceremony and the reception in the same venue. Um, so then I started looking at officiants. I wrote down three of them, and actually I can cross one off because he called me today and cannot do it. So I think that's this one. Um, so I do have two more left. Meeting with one tonight, actually. Um, and I have all of his packages here that I'm going to go over with him. And here I have a bunch of hair and makeup people. And photo booth pricing. DJs. And this is from my meeting with the vendor, with the venue yesterday. So I kind of start out with this. And as things are getting a little more permanent, like... I booked the venue, so I have more in this binder now. So it's just a plain silver binder, nothing fancy. And you open it up, and I have a wedding checklist here that I just printed off from the internet. Um, we have our wedding date, April 23rd, 2016. And then we have, here I had a list of the possible venues and how many people they can hold. Because we're going to have a big wedding. We're going to have about 200 to 250 people. So we need it to hold a lot of people. Um, then on the side here, I bought two packs of five tabs. So I can, you know, keep everything organized. This first tab is budget. And there's really nothing in here yet. Then the next tab is venue. And then I just have the folder they gave me from the venue. And then I have the menu that I printed out and just some extra paper that I'm going to write down all the notes from my sloppy book into here because this is already set. And then the next tab is photo and video. And here's a list of a few photographers that I've been looking at as well as one that I'm pretty set on. I have all of their package information here. Then I have stationery and there's nothing in here yet because I haven't done that. Then dresses and attire is this next section, which also has nothing in here. Then I have decorations, and that tab is going to be mostly for like Pinterest posts I'll print out and um, ideas of where I'm going to get everything and how everything's going to be set up. My venue will give us little glassed mirrors that they put on the table with four little votive candles, um, and then I'm probably going to do some kind of a like a fishbowl thing with golf tees and golf balls or something like that in there because it's at a golf course. The next tab, I don't have anything on yet because I haven't decided what I'm going to put there yet. And then the last tab is for guests and I obviously didn't do anything with that either. Then I have a whole bunch of extra paper. Then in the back, I have this little pouch that I got from Target and it's just a zipper pouch that I can keep receipts in and I have some pens and highlighters in here as well. So this binder will fill up very, very quickly, I assume. I'm gonna go over a bunch of songs today 
for um, the father and daughter dance and the groom and his mother's dance. And for our first dance, I'm going to pick a bunch of options and um, write them down so we have stuff to look through later. And that's pretty much everything that I've done so far. And for a wedding that's about 14 months away, that's pretty good. Um, but this notebook has come in handy, so every time that I'm talking to someone, I don't need to take out this huge binder. I can just take this out. I've been using my big never full purse so I have like everything in there. I have the binder, I have notebook, I have an extra pen, I have my iPad in case I need it I guess and then I just use it as my purse too. At the venue they did give me they gave me this little wedding guide which is kinda nice and it's it feels really cool and feels expensive um, but they gave me this with a bunch of other vendors and other options that I could use and it's really cool because these are actually my colors. I'm doing a purple and gray theme. And they just have a bunch of like wedding stuff and dresses and venues. So um, if anyone knows of any good ideas or vendors that are in the Chicago Northwest suburbs area, that would be pretty awesome um, because I feel like the best opinions are like personal opinions. So, I mean, you can only do wedding wire for so long. So if you guys have any ideas of photographers, videographers, DJs, um, anything like that, makeup artists, let me know in the comments below and I will hopefully maybe use one of your suggestions. Um, if you have a request for any of the other videos that I will be doing, let me know and I will do it. So I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and for coming along this journey with me. I will see you in my next one. Bye!